Before I start, again, prayers to Puerto Rico and the Caribbean and Mexico and all that madness that's happening. Okay, it's raining, but you guys are made out of paper, so you make sure you get your butt in class. No excuses. Those of you who keep saying next week, next week, next week, well, tomorrow is not guaranteed, and next week is part of the tomorrows. Okay, now, excusitis, number one disease. Age has nothing to do with your fitness level, except that if you haven't trained in 10 years, then that's the only thing that attributes to it. You can turn back time by getting yourself in better shape. It starts off mentally, mental shape. Leading by example, Mark Glenn, phenomenal fighter, phenomenal instructor. Um, but I would love to see you compete. We're going to be having you man tournament. So it's back in the days, region 12 readings and techniques, sweeps included. You're one of the most underrated fighters in my respect. Scared the crap out of me when we fought. Anyhow, so Mark Glenn, appreciate you. Doug Armstrong, how you doing, sir? Maybe it's time to get a new Rex suit. I know you have that one in probably about 15 years. Anyway, no excuses, guys. You know, age is just a number and it's the truth. You know, if you if you, if you think about Jack Lane, Jack Lane never retired. He never retired at all. You can literally get better with time. Um, Panama, como estamos? My brother. My brother from another mother. I, I, you still work out, don't you? I'm sure you still got those those guns. You know, you don't make the excuse that you're too old to be in shape because it makes no sense. It's the opposite. The older you get, the more you have to train to make sure you just stop or reverse time. Anyhow, running a successful martial arts school, guys, that's the goal. Leading by example, that's the goal. Being able to uh, give quality information so people could make better decisions when you're not around. That's the goal of a parent. So every time a person comes to your school, literally what they're really doing is trying to get some information as if, you know, you got students that are young. They're trying to get information so like that their children can make better decisions when they're not around. So whether it's the physical attributes or the mental attributes, it's the same damn thing. You know, everyone keeps talking a, a big, you know, tough game, but most of you guys have never fought in the street. If you did, you'd be arrested. It's, it's freaking idiotic when you keep selling all that, that street stuff. We're in the Bronx right now. If you're tough, then walk in your local ghetto from one project to the next. And if you don't know what I'm talking about in terms of projects, they cut the shit out with that tough crap. Anyhow, I love all forms of martial arts, and all of us are all together with the intention of helping people make better decisions. One of the toughest guys that I know that if you watch a video and he's doing the stick fighting with no pat work is Felix Cortez, my brother. And he doesn't talk a big tough game when he's doing these videos, you know? He, he, he literally just sharing quality information, someone in his 50s who can still do things as he was a young guy. So that's leading by example. Other people are giving some wonderful advice and comparing things that can work and not work. But my point is this. We're all in the same gang, right? None of us have competition against each other. We're competing against the, the gangs that know how to recruit the freaking kids in the street. And a lot of times they don't get down with what we're doing because we're freaking corny. Corny. They look at us cool at age 13 and by age 14, 15 when they're going to be cool with the girls. You know, we look all stupid with replying to everything that we do with us, which is which is nonsense, guys. Come on, don't let's not be corny. Corny also is being out of shape and fat and trying to tell somebody else how to train. Now, this is my belief. I could be freaking wrong, but I'm getting myself in the best shape possible because I do not want to be full of crap. And many of you are teaching full of crap dough because you cannot even do what the hell you want your students to do. I could be wrong, but leading by example, I think is the number one key. All of us, that's U.S. All of us are here to help, and because of that, we'll be able to um, really touch people's lives as an extended family member to give them options to be able to protect themselves mentally even more than physically. Now, if you're fat and you're out of shape and you're smoking cigarettes and you're saying you're, you're a master and you want to lead by example, then you're full of shit, okay? You're the guys that make us look freaking bad. And don't make an excuse that your grandfather smoked until he was dead or what have you because when it comes down to it, the kids look at that stuff and we look like freaking fools and people think that we're all the same damn thing. You understand what I'm saying? Don't make an excuse about that freaking smoking crap. And, and if you're taking a picture with a freaking cigar, que pendejo tu eres. You're freaking fool. You look like an idiot. That's my opinion. But when you're in shape and you're living in the right path, now we all make mistakes. I'm saying this. If you're 30 and 40 years old and you're still hanging out in clubs, there's something freaking wrong with you. 
There's something wrong with you. Change approach. If you're fat and you're out of shape and you're teaching martial arts unless it's sumo, there's something wrong with you. You look freaking stupid. And that means that we all look stupid when your guys do stuff like that. If no one's ever told you that, speak to your wife or your ex-wife. She'll let you know. She'll let you know. If you look in the mirror and you have those love handles like I have right now, that's what I'm training, so to get rid of them, do something about it. Stop making freaking excuses. Get yourself in shape mentally, physically, and believe me, then you won't be that miserable old man that I'm sounding like right now. I love you guys, man. We're martial artists, man. And as a family, we need to keep ourselves accountable for things. Go to karate tournaments and they slap somebody to the shoulder and they give a point for that. Watch an MMA fight and the guy can't throw a damn jab or a front kick. Stupid crap. We collectively have all the techniques to teach somebody to look phenomenal. And if you got skills right now and you haven't used them in years, start teaching your students those things, which means that you benefit and they'll benefit and all of us, not us or yush, all that stuff that you guys answer for every freaking thing. You know, I'll say something like, good morning, us. And then the other guy will respond, yush. And they'll go, no, 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 no. It's us, all of us. And, and, and say the words that you freaking meet. Don't respond with a freaking sound like that because they make fun of us, man. I hate to be characterized as someone who is corny, being fat and out of shape, and lying that you're a grandmaster with two freaking students, still living with your mother, Oh, sound like an ass. Anyway, it's my opinion. But the rest of you guys, I challenge you. Like I challenge myself. Make a public commitment to do what you know you wanted to do. And that's be Bruce Lee or Jackie Spam or something like that. All right, guys. If I friendly you, it's not my intention. If I motivated you, good. And I'm not speaking fast. I'm Puerto Rican. Hey. Give some shout outs. Peter Morales, Almin, Eric, Gizzo, what's up, buddy? Oh my God, you believe this? We even have, we got some famous people in here. Mr. Hackerman, how you doing, sir? Love your videos. That was, I believe, um, yeah, Chuck right there was your student, right? Uh, Kempo, if I remember correct. Um, the Pit, was that the Pit? Anyhow, I appreciate you guys paying attention to me because I know sometimes I don't even understand myself. But the point is that no excuses, raise your standards, make it happen. I'm a fan of you. Not just you, 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 but all of us who are there trying to help people. You're never in competition with schools because the competition are the drug dealers and the gangs and the baseball, the football, the basketball, etc. Not other karate schools. All you need is about 150 to 250 students in a town that has thousands and you'll be successful. So lead by example, get in the best shape possible and have the referrals go to the roof because your students have increased the standards of their life by becoming better people. As corny as it sounds, all of us want our children to be just better people and make better decisions. That also includes protecting themselves with an elbow to the face instead of something that may not work at times. Anyway, no excuses. Make it happen. I believe in you. You believe in yourself. A.B., see you soon.